Hi, I'm Carrie Cole. I'm a celebrity vocal coach and artist development expert, and I help artists find their voice, craft their music, and create successful music careers. I've worked with Donald Fagan from Steely Dan, Courtney Love from Hole. I've worked with the band Journey. I'm going to teach you how to be a better singer and performer. So I'm going to teach you a little bit about using microphones. Um, we're going to talk about performance microphone, like this microphone that I'm using today. This is a Line 6 microphone. This is actually a microphone used by American Idol currently. And it is a digital wireless, which means that it doesn't operate on a bandwidth. And it is a sensational mic. It's one of my favorites. Most singers are a little bit afraid of the microphone in the beginning, so they tend to pull back too much and just notice what happens when I do that. It gets thinner and it doesn't have that presence. So in the, in the beginning of using a mic, I always teach singers to eat the microphone, almost have their lips on the microphone as I do right now or close by, okay? And when you're singing louder, you can pull away a little bit, but don't pull away so far because then it starts sounding thin. That's more prevalent on a recording microphone even than on a um, performance microphone. So eating the microphone, very important, not being afraid of it. And the best way to get good at that is to get a microphone, have a microphone and a stand at home. Use a microphone regularly to sing. If you don't want to bother your neighbors, you can plug that, out, get an interface and plug it into your computer and wear headphones and, you know, get used to singing on a microphone so that you learn a, a couple, a couple of things about it. One, the sweet spot. There's a sweet spot in the center of that microphone that's very important. And if you're singing like this, you're not going to get that sweet spot. You've got to be right in the center of it, okay? But the best way to learn how to use a microphone is to get comfortable on it, so it's to use it all the time. Also, microphone placement is important. If you're going to play the piano, you want that microphone, like when you sit at the piano, sit at the piano, and then position your microphone. Notice I have it at an angle like this so that I can look down on, at my hands and I can also look at you. Okay? That's really important. Because if you go to the piano and say you, you know, you, you get it all positioned and everything and then you look down and you're like, whoops, you know, or you have the microphone positioned too low. I see a lot of singers do this on stage and they put both hands and they lean on the microphone and then look what happens. A beginner student the other day did that in one of my sessions and I had to go up on stage and help her because she didn't know what to do. So when you're sitting at the piano, it's important to have the microphone positioned correctly so that you can look straight ahead and you can look down at your fingers and not be confused and have to move up and down so you go off the microphone, right? And when I'm playing piano in particular, I will keep my mouth on the microphone like, like so, so that I know where I am in, you know, in space so that I'm not moving all around, right? Now when you're standing up, it's a typical mic position, like when you're standing up. And one of the things you want to be careful of, when, especially when you're not used to using the microphone a lot, is if you put weight on it, it tends to, to do this as you're singing, and then you're kind of stuck. So um, either make sure that the microphone itself is you know, really, really tight, and don't put weight on it. Just put your hands here. Don't put weight on it. And a lot of singers, you know, just one hand, if it's both hands, again, don't put weight on it. I mean, you also want to get comfortable taking the mic off and don't take the mic off while you're singing. Wait for a break and then take the mic off. Always put your hand on the stand first instead of just grabbing the microphone, right? And take, this, and take the microphone off and then make sure that you move the stand so that it doesn't upstage you, right? And then you want to get really comfortable with whatever your movements are with where that microphone center is, right? So people start moving in the beginning and they start pulling the microphone off away because they're focused on their movement, right? This is just for the beginning. For singers that are more seasoned, you'll see them doing this a lot, pulling that microphone back when they're singing louder. This is when you're a little bit more advanced. Um, and you know how to control it, but you're really controlling it by what you hear. And on stage, you have monitors. The monitors are either above you or they're on the floor. So this is what's feeding your, your voice back to you. So you want to make sure that you have a good monitor level so you can hear yourself or it's easy to go off pitch when you're on stage. So these are just a couple of tips for a live microphone, but remember, you want to get comfortable with it so it doesn't look like you're struggling. The last thing you want to be thinking about on stage is the microphone. You want to be thinking about your music and what you're singing about and your audience.